Hello everyone, welcome to another segment of intellectual brainstorming and uh, academic excellence as well as the quest for insatiable financial prosperity. My name is uh, David and my YouTube channel is actually David Oluwis. What is this medium to say a very big thank you to our returning subscribers so if you have been watching our videos right from the beginning up to this period we say a very big thank you thank you so much now if you have not subscribed please uh, subscribe uh, now we need your subscription apart from subscribing you can also leave your comment on how to serve you better thank you so much today we're going to look at something unique something different something you know fantastic something that is worthwhile and um, i'll be talking about as you know as usual on the issue of the uh, money where do you actually keep your money like i said earlier money is very very important because when we have money we can be able to achieve our numerous financial goals we don't have goals in life and what are our goals what are those goals goals are those things that we wish to achieve but when there is no money you may not be able to achieve all these uh, whims and caprices so money is very important now the rich usually do not squander their money what do i mean by not squander their money they don't usually waste their money. They usually invest their money. But on the part of an average man on the street, you know, in most cases, we get this money and we also spend this uh, money. Money comes in and money goes out. You know, to a financial um, individual that aspires to, to achieve the best thing in life, such an act is what is not ideal or is not uh, well enough now so like i said the rich people or those that are wealthy do not usually squander their money because that money is an hard end money so when you earn money and you swear to get that money you don't squander that uh, money now what do those people that are wealthy what are those things that they usually buy when they have uh, money they invest their money into stocks now if you've watched my videos you know previously you will discover that what i've talked about uh, stocks they invest their money by buying stocks and what do i mean by stocks i mean equities they buy equities apart from investing in equities they also buy what i call a uh, real estate they buy what i call a uh, real estate investment uh, trust uh, fund you know they buy all those things as well then they also invest their money into what into businesses into businesses apart from investing their money into businesses they can also invest their money into hard assets hard assets hard assets so the rich have multifaceted ways of investment or how they will they save their money and in most cases those money are actually growing for them but for the average man on the street he has the money and also spends the money that is the slogan you earn you spend but for the rich for the wealthy you earn and you grow you understand you earn and you grow so they use the cash as a means to an end what do i mean by using the cash as a means to an end that is for the wealthy they use the card as a means to an end means that what they use the cash to achieve their various purposes to achieve their various purposes you know so they use the cash to buy stocks, they use the card, the cash, to buy real estate, 
they use the cash to, to buy businesses and they also use the cash flow to buy assets. So they invest in what? In multi-dimensional aspect of what? Of the investment. You understand now? So the investment which they have actually invested into will generate uh, income for them. We generate revenue. We generate more wealth uh, for them. Now, the goal of an average man, like I said, is what is to earn and to spend their money. They hardly save the money. Now, apart from the fact that some people actually would save the money, not everybody actually spends the money. Some actually saves the money into the what? Into the bank account. Now, if you have watched my videos right from time, you will discover now that I don't encourage people to save their money in the banks. Because when you save your money in the banks, it does not generate any form of what of uh, interest. Rather, your money will what will be used to finance to, or to finance to finance other people's uh, projects. You understand now? The bank is going to lend your money to other people, and the banks are going to collect interest on behalf of your money, which they have lent to other people. In other words, the banks are, what, are generating more interest for themselves and generating more revenue for themselves, for themselves. But on the other hand, you are not generating anything. You understand now? So, it is good to keep your money in the bank. And some people, they believe that when they keep money in the bank and they have a very fat bank account, it will guarantee wealth for them. It does not guarantee wealth because over time your money is going to lose a value. Now you ask me, how does your money lose value? Your money that you keep in the bank will lose value when inflation sets in because your money will not have any value again. And that's why I will not encourage people to put money in the banks. Of course, you can also put money in the banks. But the money you can put in the banks should be for what? For savings and for spendings. But the money for investment, for return investment, should be kept where it will be generating revenue for you every day. Like I said, I have my own financial business uh, portfolio that I'm using. I, and I also cash out every day i earn my own commission every day whether it is big or small but something is coming to my account every day but if i leave that money in the bank it will not generate anything for me so please take note of this so it is good to have money in your bank account but it is best to invest your money where the money will create additional income for you you understand so the the cash the money that you keep in the bank we what we lose its value as a result of a uh, inflation so saving money or stacking money in the bank does not create a uh, wealth though it is very good to save the uh, money so investment is what we're talking about here it is important that you actually invest that money Instead of allowing that money to, to create dust, instead of allowing that money to, to be left in a bank account where the bank is going to be making more money for themselves and generating more revenue for themselves, why don't you put your money to the test? Let your money work for you. Your money should be working for you and not you working for your money. Then the, your money should not be working to make more money for you but your money should be growing more money for you every day. Now, when you're talking about investment, investment is not something that you do within a year. It is not something that you do within what? Six months or three months. We are talking about a long-term project. We are talking about a decade of a sacrifice. We are talking about what? Decades of what? Of a sacrifice. And what do I mean by decades of what? Of sacrifice. We are talking about 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and if possible, above. Now, it is, I can guarantee you that if you follow these steps, 
in the short in a short period of time if you are very consistent and you are putting money into that investment every time you are nurturing it that investment that you are doing will guarantee your future so if you want a stable financial future if you want a stable financial stability if you want to guarantee your future where you have access where you have a good future where you have what the privilege of what of acquiring whatever you want in life where you can live a decent life where you do not need to, to beg for money before you can eat where we do not need to, to depend on anybody before you can survive then it is very important for you to, to put the money where it will grow more money for you so my question is where are you going to be keeping your money this year where are you going to be keeping your money this year are you going to be putting your money in the banks are you going to be stacking your money in the banks are you going to be saving your money in the banks or are you going to, to put the money to test or are you going to invest that uh, money if i may answer if i may ask that question the answer is what put the money where the money will generate more income more revenue for you on this level i'm going to end my lecture on where do you put your money where are you keeping your money for me i keep my money in the bank but the money i keep in the bank is the money i use for what for savings and for spending and what do i mean by savings for emergency therefore spending those money i use on what on daily basis but the one that is generating income for me is the one i put in my investment and when you talk about investment you can invest into so many things which have you know if you want to get all these things you can watch my videos you will see all these things where you can actually invest your money you can invest into stocks you can invest into a real estate you can also what invest into what into asset or you can also what invest into business all these things what we guarantee a very stable financial future for you so i remain your humble loyal servant david Oni. and my youtube channel once again is what he said david onewis for our returning to subscribers we say a very good time people. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe now. So we'll meet next time. Thank you and God bless you.